I was um, recording my morning devotion and my camera stopped me uh, with a message and said, turn your location on. Your location isn't, isn't on. I wanted to stop there because I, I, I thought maybe that that was something that uh, somebody could use today. Uh, I, I know that a lot of the times our location is private because we really don't want people to know exactly where I am. But I, I wonder what what form of privacy, if it limits God in the privilege of being able to get to you. I'm talking to anybody today who finds themselves in a situation, not that you have overcome it, but you're just trying to get through it. I'm talking to somebody that this past year has been it for you. I mean, you done seen people walk away. You done seen people die. You done left some stuff. Some stuff done got up and walked away on you. I'm talking to somebody who, though you tired of it, you still get up and do it. Somebody who, even though you should have cussed them all the way and they mama too and everybody next to you because they really haven't been supporting you. I'm talking to somebody who ain't gave up, although you should have, although they said that you would, although they thought that everything that you've been through would have killed you, but you got to tell them and affirm for you that there were stronger people who would have died. We could pray to some of the stuff that I've been through. So I've just come in a room today to just talk to people who are trying, who still get up trying on a Friday. Although what you went through should have took you out Monday. I'm talking to people who are trying that the word of God gave me today today is just for people who are trying. I, I know that in Genesis, the very first question that God asks a post after sin, whatever you want to call it, after they disobeyed, after they uh, gained knowledge of good and evil, after all of that, God asked Adam one question, and I ask you today that the same that my camera asked me as it interrupted my devotion earlier. It says, where is your location? That's what God asked Adam. He said, where, where are you? That's where I want to remind you today you can envelop in what you've been through and how things maybe don't look like what you projected them to. And our people who maybe are around you are that you lacked seeing in this season because they just thought their life would be better without you. You got to begin to look and take introspective of not what left you, but what location God has brought you. I want to remind you today to look at where you are I, I know that you made it this far, only one, by his grace, and two, by his directive hand, and three, that your grandmother somewhere was praying you through. That's why you ain't give up on you. I ain't even going to stun. I, I know mine was praying me through. God says, where's your location? Where, where are you? I'm, I'm looking not for the title, not a position. I'm, I'm not looking for the certificate. I, I don't need to know if you graduated from it. I need to know where you are. And so that may be a self-love or mental health moment check. Be like, it's not always physical because God knows where you're at. He's, he's God. But maybe he's asking you, where are you mentally and emotionally? Where are you spiritually? Where are you psychologically? Where are you in your finances? Where are you in building the plan and performing the business? Where are you in wanting to get up and keep showing up even though you do, but your heart isn't in it? Where are you? I noticed uh, three things today and I'll be out of your way. Um, the, the Bible says that the voice of the Lord was found walking in the cool of the day, uh, in the cool of the day in the garden, in the cool of the day. And I wondered, um, God, why is it that so many times we don't see it. And he said, Jeremiah, the reason that you won't see it is because you're looking for it, but you haven't even heard it. It says the voice of the Lord was found walking. And there are some places in your life where you're praying God show you that you really just need to see his voice leading you. And I know it didn't come through and I know they didn't grant it last season and I know they turned it down. And you may have been looking for the significant sign to see it. But God told me to tell three people in the room on today that the reason that you're waited is not because you can't see it, but because you need to start listening for it. He said, I'm, I'm talking to you. And then he told me, Jeremiah, he said, many times you come to worship our devotion, our prayer service, and you want to talk. It's a shade to me. I do. I'll be over there talking. He said, I, I didn't want you to feel my time with you talking. 
said, because that's just you running from what the real problem is. That's you running from the solution. That's you running from the real answer. That's what Adam was doing. He was running. And the voice was following him. So my question to you today is, how, how long are you going to make God run after you? Leading you and guiding you from behind you. We got to begin to put God in his rightful place. Not co-pilot. Not on the sideline. Not, not somebody who just shows up and be genie. He has to be more than that. So I'm, I'm not asking you to make me something impossible. Just let me be God again. Now, I, I can be your provider. I can be your answer. I, I, I can be your daddy. I, 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 I can be your pilot. I, I can be the force and the wind behind you. I can do all that. But you limit me. Because you give me words that you form and fit in what you think is my identity. Just, just let me be God again. That's, that'll serve us all better. That's, let me be God again. And God says, and I promise you, let, let me be me. And I'll still work it all out for you. The last thing that I wanted to share with you um, was that I noticed the only difference between grape, um, between grape juice and, and wine is the time that the grape has had in the process. And then a lot of the times you don't know it because you're in it. But, but God told me to confirm for eight people <laughs> in the room on today that the only reason... That, that you're still in it is because you're in the process that God is developing you for somebody mature enough to handle you. That's why you ain't found no spouse yet. That's, that's, that's why you ain't graduated from the school yet. That's why you're getting pushed back on the job and hadn't got promoted yet. You, you are being matured to a place, to a situation, to a status, to a relationship, to a development, to a job, to a career, to the business that will mature you. God is preparing you. So the only difference, Jeremiah, between that $2 grape juice and that $300 bottle of wine is the amount of time. So God said, Jeremiah, I want you to sit in there and enjoy the process. It's one, it confirms for you that if you're still being shadow casted, that's the wine I mean, that, that's the grape underground because many people won't see your process. You're growing. I, I, I get it. A lot of the times, God will be pulling stuff from you. That's them taking the, the hull and the peel off of the grape. And it'll hurt you being disconnected from people who you grew to know and, and thought that they were always going to be here. And God begins pulling them. It's, it's just part of the process. And he said a lot of the times when a grape is growing, catch it, he'll put a fence in the garden around it. And it's not so that you can't go out. But some, some, sometimes it'll stop wild animals and, and wayward friends and stop the enemy from coming in pretending that he's going to be close to you. But the Bible talks about tares and weeds growing together. God puts a fence around it many times to keep things out. He's not stifling you in. But I want you to know today you ain't like them. I know y'all may be the same color. I know y'all maybe have the same smell. Y'all maybe came from the same background or, or town or school. But let me whisper something to you. And don't, don't tell this to nobody. I don't want nobody to get offended. I don't want to make nobody mad. Bruh, you, you ain't like them. That's, that's why your role harder that's that that's that's why you'll struggle heavier that's that's why you went through what you go through and you look at people around you and they can't really identify with you because what you are on and what you're in and what god has put in you and determined for you oh you ain't like them and then then he said this to me he said jeremiah everybody can't handle wine. Mm. See, it's, it's, it's only for mature people. It's, it's only for people who can handle. 
It's, it's only for people who, who are identified legal to hold you. See, you, 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 you've been mishandled by way too many people anyway. And you, you, you ought to thank God that he shadow casted and he put you on the back burner and he ain't let you get as popular as you should be. Let me, let me tell let me, you, you, you better be glad God gave you a humbler. Paul said, there's a thorn in my flesh. I don't know what that is for you, but whatever it is, it's God used it to humble you. And the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason is because everybody can't handle people like you, bro. So, so you want everybody just touching on you, do it. You, you, you need everybody just flirting with you, do it. You. Come on, come come on with with the future that's on you, with with the destiny God gave you, with, with the calling that He called you to do. You mean to tell me you want to be like? God said, "No, nah, bro. You ain't like them. So no, you ain't gonna be for everybody. This song be like these. Be folk for everybody. Say be okay." It's young for everybody. And that's all right. Everybody can't handle me. They ain't mature enough to take me. There's some people who like you, want to put their hands on you, but hold up. God says, I'm still preparing you. And I promise you, if everything that you're about to walk into, if everything God has coming for you, I ain't say I was going to be on here 12 minutes, everything that's mission for you, You've gone through the process of it. You've been delivered from it. And now you're mature enough to handle it and see it. God bless you today.